Welcome back to the Doc Growl channel guys, today we'll be making uploads. So I've been asked on multiple occasions to make a video on how do I go about editing a head. And today I've decided to make one for a couple reasons. Just to be nice to you guys and give YouTube a nice tutorial on how to make heads. Not only that, but in the past I've struggled on making uploads and uh, I've browsed YouTube to find videos that kind of explain it real nice. And there isn't a real great video out there that explains editing in its entirety. Most of them use old programs that people don't use anymore. So I figured I'd make this video for you guys to help you guys out. So I'm using GIMP 2.0. It's a free software. All you have to do is type in Google GIMP. I think it's one of the first links that'll pop up. You click it and you download it and it's 100% free. And it's the best program out there to edit heads. So not just that, uh, but uh, I think I'll put the link to the download for GIMP in the description to help these guys out find in the program. So when we start, we load our head into the program. We would click file, open, and then we would click our uh, file that we want to open. So in this case, I just picked a random head to use as a demonstration. So when we start this upload, we want to come to this sidebar here, left click on this and put duplicate layer. So we've created a section, uh, second part to this head, I should say. So what we do, we come here, grab our little eyedropper tool. We'll be doing a blink animation for starters. So, so we'll grab this eyedropper tool. Basically what we wanna do is select this black color. It just duplicates the color. Then we come here and we just draw the same outline underneath it. Then what we would do next is we grab this tool here and make sure the colors blend in real nice. So we'll go like that. Make it real nice here. So grab a little bit of this. And that's that's one of the main parts of making a head. You want to blend your colors in real nice. Always very important. So there we go. We got our first part done and it's that easy. So what we'll do now is you see how the animation works. So what we would do here, we come here, duplicate layer, and now we're on our second phase. So basically we do the same thing. Grab this color, black, draw two lines underneath. Copy this color. To get here, I want to make everything nicer, so I'll go like this, like this, and we come here, duplicate again. Then we grab our black, we make it fully come down, just like this. Okay, so now once this step is done, um, we want to come over to the eyes, right? So we're going to come over to the eye. And it's pretty simple. You can do this either two ways. I'm going to show you both ways. So what we do is we come back to our first slide here. And we come here, second slide. What we want to do is basically make this be the same here so we could either go like this grab your pen redraw the lines and then grab your pen again do this and we would come to this third part here the picture we want this to come down two more so what we would do is grab it here because you want to make this be exactly like this, right? So you would come here. Trace this. And then to our third one, we want it to go all the way down. done here 
and instead of doing it the long way and then coming back here and redrawing every frame we go to our second one here and grab this tool highlight this area edit copy and we scroll up edit paste and then layer transform flip vertically and there you go and then we come to our second part here edit copy I don't know why steam popped up edit paste I don't know why it came all the way up here but uh, we'll just drag it over and then layer transform flip it was flip horizontally sorry about that you get here we'll basically do the same thing again edit copy edit paste then layer transform flip horizontally and there you have it that easy so just so you guys so you guys can see how the animation works goes down closes and then the easiest part to do now is you just grab this slide, duplicate layer, lift it over, put it here, and you grab this side, duplicate layer, and then pull it over up here. So basically, transitions, opens, and then goes back to your first layer. So it's that simple. And if you want to get fancy, what I like to do is I like to also put the animation on the second part of the head so you would hit copy I like to put it down here as well so edit paste uh, I'm doing something wrong here whoops edit copy edit paste and then flip layer, which is right here. Transform. You want to flip vertically. Layer, transform. Flip vertically. And then we will do that again for this one. Edit, copy, edit, paste, layer, transform, layer, transform, flip horizontally, match up just like that, and then we will do so for the last part. Edit, copy, Edit, paste. There we go. So I'm going to do this simple step real quick. I'm just going to delete these two layers and then come back here. And just to show again, what you would do is you would hit duplicate layer on the layer underneath and then duplicate layer again so there you have it your animation then what you want to do now is uh, pretty simple so before we save this file I'm just gonna show you how to recolor a head real quick so if you ever want to change the whole hair color we can do that so very important when uh, I forgot to say this at the beginning but uh, whenever you're making a head like this, go to, I think it's image, yeah, mode, and always hit RGB. Because if, 
red, green, blue is what RGB stands for. Because if you don't, then it's only going to let you allow you to pick certain colors that kind of match this head. So now that we're in red, green, blue mode, we can do a lot more things. So here, we're going to grab this little magic wand tool up here. And then we're going to select most of this up here. Once we get here, we hit edit. I want a couple. You got to make sure your little ants are surrounding all the parts of the hair. So, I don't know why it's grabbing part of the eyes, but uh, let's do it this way. You would hold shift on your keyboard, add new sections. Let me do that again. Okay, now what you wanna do is left click on this, and then you would hit colors and then channel mixer. Okay, I forgot to hit channel mixer by accident. Colors, component, channel mixer. Whoops. Sorry, I was on this layer and that layer is not the one that I could see, so I did an accident there. We should be on this one. And always make sure that this black area, that's the one that you're editing, is always matched with the eye. Because if it's not, you'll be editing something you don't want to. And we don't want that, right? So now that I got this fixed, colors, components, channel mixer. So we got this little thing that pops up here. And basically, it's really easy to change the hair color. We just mess with these colors here. We could basically make the head any color we want. Very, very simple to use. Foolproof. And look at that. We got nice. It looks like a custom. Well, it is a custom made upload, but it looks professionally done. Like, it's amazing what Jim can do. So, you could, you could do all sorts of stuff. So... That's pretty much it. Now we'll show you how to save. And before you save, you also have to add in your animation seconds, which is very important. So what you wanna do for that is, I'm just gonna undo this here so we get a nice crisp looking upload. So what you wanna do here is come over to this section, double click here, and then you wanna basically put for your first frame, this is your upload that's going to be displayed on your profile 3000 milliseconds and then for your other ones you want to put 100 milliseconds I'm just going to copy this a little bit better here And that's simple so now that this is done we got our time for each frame and you always want to put it your first one that's going to be displayed you always want to put this full eye open 3000 milliseconds and then the rest 100 milliseconds so what we would do now is we're satisfied with the results and we want to come around to saving this head we would go to file save as and it would load we'll put a name to this test head and where it says xcf you want to put that gif you'll hit save and then this thing will pop up you want to hit take me to export dialog this text in blue once you hit that brings you to the file where you want to save your head you pick which one in this case I'm just saving this in a random folder and then you hit export 
and then this screen will pop up asking you about your animation so you want to save this as an animation and you want to use disposal entered above for all frames then you hit export and it's that simple so then when you would come around to uploading your head you would come here and uh, this is the gym download page that I had opened up earlier you would hit growl upload you put your ID choose your file and then you would hit head and if you're unsure whether you should hit the set transparency box or not it's pretty simple so pretty much if your background is this checkered background like the one I have you would not hit the checkered box you would leave the uh, checkered box empty but say that your background was like a blue or pink or whatever you would hit that box and then you would upload it's that simple so that's it for this video guys I hope you enjoyed it um, I hope this clarifies a lot of uploading things for these guys so uh, if you liked it please like the video and if you'd like to see more videos on uploading and techniques and things like that just let me know in the comments and I will make a video on it I guarantee you if you put a comment on it I'll make a video about what you guys want so thanks for watching hope you guys had a great day till next time